chemical explosions are just buffed, and this includes things like water potassium bombs or things like CLF-3 bombs. So that also includes things like cryostasis beakers exploding. So for example, before if I made a 30 potassium 30 water cryostasis beaker, it would do moderate damage. However, these have been buffed incredibly. So with just 30 water and 30 potassium and one cryostasis beaker, if I toss it at a full health urist with no uh, explosive resistance, it will almost crit them in one throw. It will do 90 damage. So that is a water potassium bomb and a cryostasis beaker. So if we do a CLF3 bomb, we do 15 chlorine in 45 that and once we get that we just toss it i did heal them so with just a chem dispenser and one cryostasis beaker if you land it well it will be enough to crit a unarmored target no problem it is almost enough to kill them uh you do have to land it perfectly and that also puts you at pretty high risk if you a don't have explosive resistance or b you just have a shitty throw so that is something to keep in mind if we swap to modular grenades, this gets even more destructive. This is a modular grenade with 100 water, 100 potassium. Now just drop it at their feet. So pure water and potassium in a modular grenade has a relatively small explosion. But with just water and potassium, it is enough to crit an unarmored target, almost kill them. This modular grenade is 100 chlorine, 100 fluorine. Drop directly on a target. The explosion is much more massive. I caused pretty severe spacing, and it left the victim with no health. They are uh, beyond dead. Not close to gibbing, though, but it does a ton of damage. That would crit somebody even with 50% explosive resistance in one throw. And the last mix I'll show is 75 potassium, 75 fluorine in one large beaker. and another beaker, it is 25 water, 75 chlorine. And if we mix it into a modular grenade, this is the most devastating one you can make easily without having to do like perfect ratios, for example, or having cryostate or um, blue space beakers. This explosion is actually slightly smaller, but it didn't rip up any tiles and it actually does even more damage. Just did about 70 more direct damage to the target. Anyways, I would just say focus on CLF3 and if you have a water tank, you might as well add a little bit. But they do do different things, like the CLF3 bomb is larger and seems to want to space tiles more often. The water potassium bomb doesn't seem to space tiles nearly as often, but I know it can. So that might also be worth considering is how much over damage you want to do. Anyways, that's it for now. Small update, but definitely makes these very viable.